Hello everybody and welcome to another Smite League Conquest Shoutcast. Today I bring you once again another random conquest game. Early on Agni looking for some poke onto Athena, just with some auto attacks for the time being. Not looking like this lock gonna be happening, this panic on Amir. Just wanting to get down his early ward onto the blue side blue buff. So while we have well, say a bit of a reprieve on the early at auto attack aggression statics, go for an extra auto attack or two onto Shibalanke. Let's go ahead and take a look at these team lineups for the blue team. Zelpax playing Ra in the mid lane, Bisho playing Shibalanke in the dual lane, backed up by Expodix on Athena. Mr. Funnypant playing Habwa in the solo lane, and Dugan123 playing Loki in the jungle. For the red team, we have an, what appears to be an AD carry Kronos being played by just Pit. Statix98 in the mid lane, Panic playing Amir in the solo lane. Durzin playing Kali in the jungle, and Dodo on Hercules over in the solo lane. Over on the right side of mid Harpies, Kali looks like she's going for the contest here. We'll see. Hand of Gods does take the right side of Harpy Camps. That will be both Harpy Camps to the red team. A little bit of an, a very slight early gold lead for the time being. Just, uh, what is it? 60 odd gold so far, so not really anything terribly major. A little bit of an XP lead for Kali as she finishes clearing up her attack speed buff and then into that mana buff. Static's getting pushed back ever so in the mid lane. Using the Path of Flame to help clear that out as I fight with the camera. We'll see exactly how Kronos is working so far as the dual lane all members are level 2. A little bit of back and forth pushing there. Dodo looking for the Earthbreaker, not finding it. Heal comes out looking for that wave clear. Duke getting knocked back by the driving strike. As the early fight is on, Duke retreating back to the Solar Blessing for that heal. Blue team now looking for the aggression. Earthbreaker under the tower. Duke getting driving strike back towards the wall. Dodo getting rather low, but du Durzin jumping forward for the first blood onto Dugan. Going forward, still looking for the kill onto Zelpix. Not able to find it, however. Durzin and Dodo now both very low, being forced to retreat here. Hercules possibly staying around. He does have full mana and the blue buff still running. Zelpix getting knocked back under the tower with the Earthbreaker. Driving Strike does miss. Zelpix will survive for the time being. Over in the dual lane, just pit on that 80 carry Kronos getting very low as well. So far, the red team having mixed results. The solo lane doing, uh, oh no, actually having mixed results. Standing around at quite low health, but managing to find the kills so far. Kronos has gone back to base over in the right lane. Uh, driving strike being used on the minions into the wall. It's like statics rotating over with theirs and into the jungle, picking up that red buff. Habwa was not able to pick up his. It does not appear Loki has hit, has it either. So that buff just went poof. Rotation coming over to the left lane will be a four-man gank into the minion wave. Kali running forward, picking up that minion aggro, chomping it onto Durzin. Looking to lock down ex-Podix as we see the top of the tower. Podix can kick off just outside the safety of her tower. Four-man rotation doing work. Duke in the area, getting blocked off by the fr the wall from Ymir, looking for the possible stun follow-up. The other members of his team, however, are breaking off of that chase. Turning attention now to the mid harpies, which will be respawning ever so shortly. Kali going over the wall, looking for the stun onto Funny Pan. Mr. Funny Pan does find it. And I should amend my earlier statement. Habwa is actually in the mid lane, and Ra is in the solo, and they are kind of interchangeable. Just uh. Pointing that out that they're not exactly where I said they were going to be. Hand of the Gods does come out by Athena to secure the right side Harpy Camp. Crushing Wave coming out onto Statix, doing lots of damage. Statix down below, 100 health. The Water Hands will find the kill. So far, two kills to one for Red Team overall. Durzin getting knocked up by the Water Cannon on Water Spout under the tower. No follow up on the back of that. Minion Wave getting pushed forward to the tower. Panic. Not able to actually go farm this out right now, just soaking up the experience from the nearby. Just by standing nearby. Duke perhaps looking for a gank onto Hercules here. Hercules is full health, Does is level 6, Duke's level 4. Probably not something Duke wants to go in on right now. He will 
will instead just choose to farm out the wave. Ra is back now as well. We might see something. Doog does have his ultimate now. Doesn't look there's going to be anything coming of this as Doog heads back off into the jungle. Might? No, not heading towards that attack. Over the wall by Kali. Finding Mr. Funny Pants quite out in the lane. Stun does land. Flame wave from Statics will pick up the kill. Doog now in the fight as well. Trying to lock down, does find the kill onto Statics with the return kill. 1-1 one, one in the mid lane off that double gank by the junglers. Both junglers actually making it out of there at full health. Dude picking up his damage buff. Like the rotating over next for the blue buff for Ra. Some pings going out. Hercules wanting his blue buff Oso to badly at this point. Kali farming out that mid lane, pushing it forward into the tower. Denying that little bit of gold and experience, getting that little bit of damage onto the mid lane tower of the blue team. All said and done. Probably the better overall decision. Both teams now going to the right side blue buffs over in this duo lane. Let's see exactly what is going on over here. Just Pit has rushed Bancroft's Talon. It does have that completed. While Bisho on Shibalange has rushed Heartseeker. Podex getting caught out by the stun from uh, Kronos. Amir fighting the freeze onto Bisho. Just Pit not wanting to fight, however, is in full retreat. That is a large minion wave about to be on them as well. If they were to stick around and fight, overall a good decision. Those archer minions definitely hurt quite a bit. And when there are five of them on top of the melee minions, that's about the equivalent of a third person being there in the lane at that point in time. Spectator mode lag there, just panic rubber bands around in the lane. Kali coming around to the right lane once again for a gang. Does get spotted out by Ward. Ultimate coming out from Shibalake, who, and I realize now I do not actually know the ability. The name of that ability, you can call it the Darkness. Your right tower Hopefully that is it, is I doubt attack. it. Fire. Testing the left lane Harpies once again, they have just respawned. Spot Podex is in the area, dashing forward. Look, does not find the hand of the gods on for the steal, but nice three man taunt coming out. Agni using the flame wave, the path of flame to get out of there. Shards of ice out off of panic. Durzen now caught out, is forced to use his ult, leaping over the wall, will survive here. Using Hand of Gods for a little bit of extra health off those small minions at the damage camp. Panic retreating behind this tower, low on health. Statics, the only one coming out of the fight with a large amount of health. Duke heading around to that right side Harpy camp. Those will be picked up for free by the blue team. Let's take a look at the state of the game so far. Things are dead even. There's about a 10, 50, or I, of course I switched to the gold graph and it's like a 50, 100 difference. Things are about dead even. There are about 150 gold difference at the moment. That'll switch back and forth as minion waves are cleared up. So really, n the game is dead even at this point. Three kills, 2-2 two -two in favor of the red team. All towers are still standing. Towers on the side of the red team a little bit worse for the wear. But overall, things pretty much even across the board. Statics very low going forward, trying to clear out that wave. Crushing wave will miss. On the, but those water cans coming out. Kali is here as well, looking for the stun. Statics will get, will stop just in time for the stun. Mr. Funny Pen looking to close in and get this kill. Statics is turning, looking for the, to clean up that kill perhaps as he's hiding around the wall. Will not be able to do so. Durzen jumping over the wall to get away. Statics perhaps at that point. Actually, his abilities may have all been on cooldown, but turning around and hitting a flame, uh, hobble off a flame wave could have been all it took to finish him off and get out alive. It's stun coming out onto Doog, middle lane assassinated, does land Durzen leaping up in the air, trying to get away. Durzen finding the kill onto Doog will come out of that gank by Loki. Ahead, Spotix poking around, looking perhaps to clean that up. Durzen hiding back under the safety of his tower, however, will be able to stay alive. Panic, looking for that left side mana buff, not able to find it, not yet respawned. A couple more seconds, he would have spotted it out. They actually will be aware that it is up now, having cleared up that timer. Looking for the gank on to Bisho. Defender of Olympus is out, Shard of Ice coming out on Panic. Channeled up, doing getting Bisho down to about half health. Nice taunt landing from Athena. Panic getting dangerous low, under 100 health. One more attack will find the kill. Panic running for his life, throwing up the, uh, the Wall of Ice. 
is able to walk away. Habwa going forward. The wet paper is down. Looking to close in for the kill. Turning on just Pit instead. Statics is rotated around as well. Finding the stun on, onto Mr. Funny Pant. Raining fire down onto X Podix and B Show. Not able to find anything, however. Podix charging up the preemptive strike. More likely than not to get away if the need arises. Kali rotating around now as well. Could potentially find something here. Kali's ult is available for the dive. He's looking for it. One kill so far. The water cannon crushing waves coming out. Crushing waves does not hit. The ultimate from Durzan is out under the tower. He perhaps used it a tiny bit too early. Durzan will find the one kill and making his retreat now out from under the tower of the blue team. Static sticking around to continue pushing that minion wave and a half to the tower. Nice pick up there by Durzan on the back of that rotation. Harpies are spawning up at the moment. Panic just waiting for some members of his team to arrive on the back of that fight. Red team finding the first actual gold lead of the game up now about 400 gold. It's not a lot, but it is something. Right side Harpy camps will be contested with Doog. But a hand of Godding the one, it looks like it did miss the second one. Rainfire stun coming down. Doog will make his escape safely otherwise. Both team, actually the red team going for the steal onto the blue buff of the blue team. Does find it. That'll be a blue buff for Panic. Having that extra mana regen and cooldown reduction on Emir is always very nice. Nothing like being able to freeze people and stick some shards of ice. Unless the shards of ice. More like glacial strikes all over the place. But getting caught out now by two members of the blue team. Down to about two, uh, one third health. Frostwall does block off Mr. Funny Pan for the moment. Theana still in pursuit. Statics now rotating around. Podix will back off. And uh, that looks like that will be the end of that chase. Loki is in the area. Just pit over in the left lane, getting low as well. Doog rotating around, possibly looking for something. The wall coming up. Not really doing much of anything. The blue team is blue team is wandering around this side of the jungle still in mid lane. Looks like we have a fight breaking out. Mr. Funny Pan getting focused. Defender Olympus coming out. The crushing waves going forward, missing once again onto Statics. Ultimate from Shibalaka comes out not needed as Mr. Funny Pants finishes off Statics with the wet hands or water hands, water cannon, whatever the hell we're calling it. We're gonna call it the wet hands, like jazz hands, wetter, whatever. This is why when I remember them, I try to stick to the names of the abilities. Like the Shibalanke ultimate, that's a great one. Excavate coming out from Dodo, not finding Zelf however. Dodo getting rather low. Searing Pain is available. Dodo not quite low enough at the moment, however. Let's find the kill on that. Nine things driving there. Earthbreaker driving trick does land. Zelf is under the tower. Solar Blessings out, not going to be enough, however, as it looks like a crit came out off of Hercules for the kill. Over in the dual lane as well, Durzin finding the, the double or the kill onto Shibalanke was not able to get away from that. We're gonna pretend that we were able to see this and exactly what happened. Speed things up because I wanna actually see. Normally I just run forward with this. Kali coming around for the gank, catching Shibalanke out forward in lane. It's gonna be a walk up gank. Incense coming out for the stun. Glacial sh uh for Ice Breath does not land the Leap Probe from Durzan, however, will secure the kill. So that's what happened over there in the duo lane. A fairly typical rotation gank, catching Shibalanke out. Under now it's like fr Frost Breath it is, I believe. I have my notes here of the abilities going back a little ways. I was pretty sure I knew all of Amir's abilities, as Doog is caught out at his attack speed buff. He does secure it, but will be forced back to the safety of his Phoenix. As I continue to flip through my notes here quickly, just to remember exactly what Emir's Frost Breath is called. I'm pretty sure it's Frost Breath. It is Frost. Fro right is it is attack. Frost Breath. It's also Ice Wall. That's the Wall of Ice, also as well. Mr. Funny Pan caught on a four-man rotation, finding the Water Cannon onto Just Pit, using Crushing Waves to get back under his tower. Defender of Olympus is out onto him. Red Team will not be finding a tower right now, and Mr. Funny Pant will live. Coming out of that 1v4 encounter alive, that's actually pretty impressive. As a fishbowl ward, I was wondering what the hell that was. Durzin being forced to use his ultimate in the middle of a very large minion wave. Perhaps going a little too aggressive there in the middle of his farm. Well, perhaps landing a hit onto Athena. I got distracted by some fish. I apologize for that. 
So let's take a look at the state of the game so far. 13 minutes, 20 seconds in. Seven kills for the red team to the four of the blue team. Got a 1,100 gold lead. Sometimes math is hard, but sometimes we get it around correct. 10, or 1,050 gold difference. Close enough to 1,100. So taking a look at the current items, Mr. Funny Pant has completed a Book of Thoth. We'll be building up the stacks on Habwa. Other than that, fair, nothing really out of the ordinary coming out. Zelpix getting caught out. Mr. Funny Pant rotating around just in time. Dodo now in a 1v2. The Weakening Curse coming out. Zelpex getting down to under 200 health. As the, I'm fighting the camera. Apparently I cannot angle it around there like I would like. Mr. Funny Pants is not done yet. Still looking for the kill onto Dodo. Earthbreaker not connecting for the knockback. Driving Strike missing as well. Minion Wave here now as well. Mr. Funny Pant is not in a great position. Throwing down the wet paper. Looking for the Water Spout once again. And the Water Cannon not doing a lot. Dodo does have the Stone of Gaia completed. But Mr. Funny Pants doing work. Finding that kill in the end. On the back of that 2v1 Hercules forcing back the Ra. And then getting the fight turned around by Mr. Funny Pan. Do getting caught out in the mid lane. Lockdown it does use his ultimate to escape. So he will have survived. But will not have Assassinate available for a gank if the opportunity presents itself. Continuing to take a look at these items. Uh, Warlock Sash. Sh Warlock Sash. I can't talk. Warlock Sash. This item, Warlock Sash. There we go. Took a few tries, but we got it. Blue team perhaps looking for Gold Fury here. Has started it off. They are currently not spotted out by any wards. It looks like Just Pit and Statics are in the area to contest this. Blue team has secured the Gold Fury. Looking for the kill on Just Pit. Rewind will get him back out to safety, however. Statics just throwing some damage down onto Podix. That Gold Fury will swing the gold lead to about 700 gold in favor of the blue team. Mr. Funny Pants going into a 2v1. Finding himself caught and stunned out by Durzin. Defender of Olympus will give him enough mitigation to get out of there safely. Rainfire coming out, not connecting for the kill. There, Mr. Funny Pants just narrowly getting away. The fight is continuing. Zelpex and Spodex going in onto Durzin. Durzin leaping out safely. All. Most members are rotating around here now to the middle lane. Panic catching Duke out in the jungle. Shards of Ice are out. Leap over the wall from Panic or Durzin. Loki vanishing to get away. Fight still continuing. The mid lane statics. Uh, sorry, in the jungle off of the mid lane. Spodex, Podex, not Spodex. Statics and Podex too similar. The support battle of the century going on over those left side harpies. I have no idea who the hell took those. Soul Blossom coming out from Ra. Habwa has now returned as well, throwing down that wet paper, announcing his presence, daring them to come forth onto his little well, wet paper, and continue that chase. Red team electing not to, looking for the Earthbreak or driving strike onto someone. Did not connect to drive. Earthbreaker does connect, however. Mr. Frankman using crushing waves once again to escape. I actually don't think we have seen crushing waves connect. We saw it once connect in the right side har We saw crushing waves hit once over right side harpies. Other than that, I think every single one has been used either defensively or has missed. So a lot of potential damage missed out of there. Fortunately, Habwa does have two other ultimates. So if you're gonna miss an ultimate on someone, Habwa is the person to do it with. Other than that, currently sitting at about a 1,000 gold deficit, the red team, while up on kills by two. Trying to throw the can of Athena, ready to ult in. Will ult in a Duke. We will see the leap forward by Duke. Just a little too late to get that damage from Defender Olympus. Searing Pain coming out somewhere. Not actually channeled off completely. Dodo now running from the four-man rotation of the blue team. Will not be getting out of there alive. That's a nice pickup there by the blue team. We'll see what they turn their attention to. 17 minutes, 40 seconds is a little early for the Gold Fury. Amir was on the other side of the map. Agni, however, in the mid lane as well. Would have been able to turn that, turn that around and give them a hard time if they had tried to do that. Ra looking instead for the right lane's uh, tower. Uh, Just Pit is rotating over there to prevent that. 
fight breaking out in the mid lane. Shards of Ice Command, Mr. Funny Pen, aging out the majority of the damage. Path of Flame from Agni will finish it off. Nice taunt on him, however, locks him up. Agni forced to Aegis as well. Looking for the return kill onto Statics. Will they be able to find it? Podex getting quite low as well. Rainfire Command, Panic still looking for the kill. Glacial Strike, not enough. Podex surviving with under 100 health. So one kill coming out there in favor of the red team. Incredibly close fight. Panic almost finding that return kill. We'll see how things go as the teams meet up once again. Everyone is pretty much far away from everybody else. Looks like Habwa going for either a Gem of Isolation or a Warlock's Sash of his own. Got it out that time the first try. The red team, on the other hand, not really building anything in the way of a lot of health. The only health, actual health item currently being built, aside from a little bit from Stone of... Actually, the, the little small amount from Stone of Gaia on Hercules is the Sovereignty on Panic, so overall the red team is quite a bit squishier currently than the blue team. See how that plays out as things go forward. Durzen does have the chin size which will help quite a bit against those targets, building up that health. With two Warlock Sash, or possibly two Warlock Sash. This fight is breaking out in the left side jungle. Do caught out by two members of the red team, but there are members of the blue team here as well. Just looking for Dangerous Low. Duke now caught out in the back of the fight. One more hit, we'll find the kill. Statix does pick it up with an auto attack. What big fight coming out. Defender of Olympus onto Mr. Funny Pan. Crushing Waves missing once again. Nice flame, uh, path of flame from Statix to get out of there. Bisho picking off Durzen somewhere in the, over in the mid lane. This fight is still going on. Just pit coming around from the side. Looking for the kill onto Mr. Funny Pan. Does find it. Bisho now going deep. Looking for the two kills. Steering Pan coming out of Zelpex will find that kill. The ticks from Agni will find Bisho, however. The burning passive from Agni finding a kill there towards the end. Nice excavate coming out from Dodo, looking for the kill onto Podex. Panic coming back in as well. Nice preemptive strike there from Podex. It looks like it will have gotten them away as Zelpex and Podex do make their way back to the safety of the tower. Overall, I'm trying to see. Uh, respawn timers are up. I believe that was a three for two in favor of the of the blue team, actually. A little hard to tell, Death Timers had come back up. Either way, taking a look at the gold graph, gold has swung in favor now of the blue team, as it has been for about the past five or so minutes. 1800 gold lead, 400 experience lead, so experience wise and level wise at least, things are fairly even. Both teams just picking up their various buff camps. Gold Fury is up, blue team is in position, there are no wards placed out by the red team. There is no Hand of the Gods available nearby. And it does not look like anyone's even coming over here to check that. That will be a free Gold Fury for the blue team. As the Gold Fury does drop, red team just deciding to check that out. They will have heard, likely heard or seen that getting taken. You can see the little uh, trophy goblets falling off the top if you're near, if you're ha you have vision of it. Likewise, the noise actually travels pretty good distance. So, overall, taking a look at the state of the game once again, while there's not much else going on. Gang coming on the right lane. Not much else going on. Who am I kidding? Let's go to looking for, likely for the driving strike escape here. He is caught out by three members of the blue team, however. Blink forward from Panic, finding a nice three-man Frost Breath. Shards of Ice will connect onto Zelpex for a decent chunk of damage. Searing Pain coming out. Not really doing a whole lot. It looks like it missed. Excavate coming out. Dodo and Panic looking to turn this fight around. As Durzen and Statics are rotating around as well, there is no tower here to protect them. Doog now running for his life. Earthbreaker not able to connect and turn him back around into that fight. Solar Blessing doing what it can to heal everyone back up as Panic is now taking this tower, going forward, finding the Frost Breath onto Mr. Funny Pant. Aegis is out. Durzen does find the kill. Kali Ultimate is up. She will be invulnerable. Cannot be killed for the time being. One more tower shot, however, will not find the kill. Podex is in the area. One or two auto attacks could find a kill here. Durzen leaping away for his life. The darkness out of Agni Statics. Finding kill in the front. Two onto Doog. It looks like Durzen did get away in the back. 
Solar busting from Zelpex under the tower. Not enough as Dodo finds the kill. The fight's still going on, however. Panic and Podex going forth with the support battle of the Sentry. Podex getting caught by the Frost Wrath with the minions and the Glacial Strike for the help. But the path, the Flame Wave, with the ability from the Agni coming around to get the kill. That's the life support there, ladies and gentlemen. You do work. You have the battle of a sentry going on in the background with the other enemy support, and some other guy comes around. Right up here. That's the life of the support for you. At some point or another, the right lane tower did drop for the... It, or the blue... Blue team's right lane tower did drop. Mid lane tower going down right now as well, so the second tower of the game for the red team. Now just taking a little bit of a reflection back at that previous team fight. Things kind of all over the place. A good initiation by the blue team, getting turned around by the red team. A nice rotation coming from the other members. The blue team taking a little too long to rotate around, however, did end up losing quite a few of their members in the ensuing team fight. Bit of, a, bit of an extended fight, but things were a little too spread out to really take advantage and capitalize on the Solar Blessings coming out of Ra. The team was kind of spread out beyond the blue buff, buff camp. It started in the middle of the right lane, progressed back to the mid lane, middle tower of the right lane, and then kind of continued back out towards the right side mid lane. Right side mid lane. The middle of the right lane, we'll go with that. Taking a look at things right now, on the back of that team fight, the blue team has lost a bit of the lead, coming down once again to about 1,800 gold, down from about a 3,000 gold lead on the back of that previous gold fury pickup. Mr. Funny Pant has gone towards a Warlock Sash, so that's going to be a bit of health on him, allowing him to stay alive longer in a team fight. Dodo getting caught out on the right side, the darkness coming out from Shibalake, not finding the stun. However, they are still going forward on this. Looking for the damage. Not going to find the kills. There is a rotation coming around from the red team. Zelpex might be caught out here. Defender of Olympus onto him. Will force the disengage from the red team, or by the red team. Durzin, however, going for the kill onto Mr. Funny Pant. Crushing Waves has connected and saved him. He does find the kill. However, just Pit finding a kill onto Doog in return. Did Durzin live? Where's Durzin? I don't see Durzin. Durzin did die. The icon taking a little to appear. So, two for one in favor of the red team for the time being. Bisho running for his life as the red team is rotating around. Rainfire coming down, not connecting onto Bisho. Panic coming around as well. Dodo does find the kill. Only two members left standing as I remember the team fight UI exists. Statics hanging the tower. Not the guy you want doing it. Panic now having the aggro. Zelpex in the back, getting away just the time. Looks like Statics could potentially have just saved the enemy Ra. But uh, like Dodo at that point out of mana would likely not have been able to follow up on that anyway. Panic now picking up the right side back harpies. On the back of that team fight, the gold lead has once again come back even further towards even. 500 gold lead only by the blue team. Interestingly, in the past five or so minutes, the experience lead has shifted from almost even to 7,500 in favor of the red team. So despite taking a couple of, obje of objectives, the blue team is getting rather behind in levels. Although Dodo and Statics are both at level 20, so experience is going to matter slightly less. Doog is still staying at level 17 to level 19 of Durzin. Podex is at level 15 to Panic's level 16 also. So going forward, things will be kind of leveling off on the experience side of things. Did Kali just go over Warden? No, Mr. Funny, but just rotating. We're looking for the right side harpy, or left side harpies, excuse me. Show on the right side, just looking for some farm. This Podex is rotating around. We can switch to some third person view stuff for a little bit. Little helicopter shooting at people. Little tiny baby bulls, not hurting anyone. Pa panic, blinking forward for the frost breath, not connecting. Will be a 3v2 if they go forward to fight. Dodo will be the next member to arrive. Could potentially turn into 4v2. 
Two more members of the blue team are rotating around, though. Driving Shark connecting onto B-Show, driving him to the wall. He is getting body block shards of ice, not connecting to the kill. Defender Vulp is going out to B-Show. Dodo finding the kill, though, at the end with Excavate. Durzin finding a kill onto Doog as well in the middle of this fight. Red team doing work once again. Codex is in the middle of things. Searing Pain coming across, hitting two people for a nice amount of damage. Blue team now on the chase. It's 3v4, potentially turning this around. Solar Blessing is out. Dodo putting himself in the front line for a driving strike out of there. Nice frost wall coming out from Panic. Looking for the taunt, finds Durzin. Earthbreaker will drive Athena back. Siri crushing waves coming out. Will not hit Durzin for the kill. War hands find the kill though. Panic now being dangerously low inside the Solar Blessing. Podex will pick up that kill. So far, three for two. Killing spree. Three for three going forward. There's just three for two. I don't know who's died. Static's making it away with about 100 health to his name. Dodo still in the fight, however. Rainfire going down on the Podex. I don't know if they have the damage here. The next preemptive strike. Weakening Curse coming out, slowing down Athena. Earthbreaker does connect. Static sitting in the back, waiting for opportunities to rain down fire and abilities from range. Cat the Flame coming out. They are still looking for the skill. Members of the blue team are, have respawned now and are returning to the fight. Podex does get brought down, however. Searing pain from Zelpex picking up Statics. Trying looking for that lazy back in the lane. Nice return kill there by Who was that? Ra Zelpex. I just said his name a second ago. I forgot about it already. So gold is just about dead even again. We are under, or we are sitting at a 100 gold difference ever so slightly in favor of the red teams. The minions get cleared back and forth. That will be irrelevant going forward. It's an extra potion or ward or two or one of each. Take it as you will. We still have a game, ladies and gentlemen. Going back and forth. Blue team is definitely not out of the back, on the back of that ex rather extended team fight. It looks like the mid lane tower was taken down by minions or some very sneaky guy who was not in that team fight. I don't remember if just Pit actually was in that or he died early. Do using his ultimate to escape Habwa there to be, prevent the chase going forward from Durzin. Your middle tower is under attack. But overall, gold has evened out once again. Experience is starting to level out in favor of the blue team. There is currently a one level advantage in favor of the red team. That will change ever so shortly. So things are all but even at the 30 minute, 30 second mark. Red team looking for their first gold fear of the game. All right, so a little bit of technical difficulties coming out. I did have to restart the cast. Here we go. The red team starting off the fight on the gold fury. The blue team is starting off the gold fire giant. Instead though, red team does have vision of this and is rushing over to contest this. Let's see what happens if the red team is arriving at. Will be only a oh, 5v5 as the rest of the blue team has rolled around. Blue team minions have gotten the right tower at the, at the moment. Rainfire coming down does catch Bisho in a stun. He is able to get away safely. Over in the mid lane, however, Dodo and is getting railed on by Duke and Habwa. Will nothing will come of it. The X Vic coming out and Loki blinking forward to get away out of that. Both teams able to escape safely with their lives. So as it turns out, that little bit of a fight was going on all over the place. I decided to see if I could hide the mini-map and instead ended up stopping in the recording, which is not a good thing, so I had to restart there from a couple seconds before the fight broke out. So just to reapprise myself, what, what is going on in this game? Taking a look at the gold and experience graph, 700 gold in favor, 800 gold in favor of the blue team. That will jump back and forth once again as the minions are killed off in either direction. 7,000 gold or experience in favor of the red red team However, as most members are currently sitting at level 20 There is only a actual one level difference panic having one level up over podex who is still sitting at level 16 Panic and just pit working on that gold fury now over there Hand of the gods is available, but panic not wanting to use that on the gold fury while fire giant is a concern if the red team, or if the blue team rather found out that the hand of the gods three was down, that would potentially be a free, easy fire giant pickup. The red team would not have a way to secure that for 60 seconds. Blink forward from panic. We'll find a double frost breath. Shards of Rescue Map B show caught out, is able to leap out in time. 
Yeah, Durzen going deep, getting cut out, does find a stun, and it looks like he will be able to escape with his life, but P Podex going on the chase still. Dodo running for his life, Darkness coming out from Shibalanke, no stun coming up, the panic getting dropped by Mr. Funny Pants, that was a lot of damage coming down on him right away. No chance for him to escape, Podex taking up that mid tower, it will drop, there it goes. There's an is back in base. We'll see if he can get back out here to help out. This will be a 3v5. Otherwise, double earth break coming out. Driving Strike only hitting up Podex. Just Pit finding the kill. Dodo and Sadix are dangerously low now, both being forced to retreat out. Duke is looping around the back, looking to pick up a kill before anyone can get away. Not able to find it. In the front, Durzen finding Bicho on a leap forward, but D Zelpex finding the return kill. So far, two for two in this rather crazy mid lane engagement. Zelpex trying to get away, the rift will connect. Stop time connecting through the wall. Zelpex won't be escaping from that one. Just Pit now cut out. The water spout, water hands will find the kill. And for a reward, the blue team finds themselves some right side harpies as well. Three for three overall. Things are once again sitting dead even with that tower pickup. 160 gold lead right now in favor of the blue team, which is not really relevant in the slightest. Dodo is in pursuit of Mr. Funny Pan right now. Weakening Curse did connect. Mr. Funny Pan's not able to get away. Looking for a kill, perhaps, onto Statics. Water Spout, Water Cannon con uh, connects. But the Excavate from Dodo will fi finish him off. Not quite able to get the kill. 150 health more would have done it. If Crushing Waves had been available, that would have been a return kill. Over in the right lane, the minions are looking for that middle tower, but not... Uh, excuse me. Not able to find it. The minion waves and the Podex getting there just in time to save it. It has nothing left. There's not even a visible blue bar on that blue line in that bar any longer. Dodo finding Duke as he tried to vanish away. Darkness coming out, trying to let his dude getting caught by the Earthbreaker does have Assassinate to teleport out. However, Bisha now caught out, will leap out safely. Mr. Funny Pants still on respawn, will be up shortly. Duke forced, well, he's gonna go heal up in the jungle with his lifesteal, which he currently does not have a ton of. He will go back to base. There's a wild fly attacking me at the moment, hopefully that does not become an actual issue. Just taking a look at the, at the state of things currently. Uh, Hercules is at full build. I don't remember if I did this or not before I realized the recording had stopped. Hercules sitting at full build, going rather tanky, only having Runic Hammer and Yodin's Wrath as pure offensive item. He will be getting extra power from the Runic Hammer. Runeforged Hammer, excuse me. The fight breaking out, we'll go back to that shortly. Bisho able to get out just in time, caught in that wall. Shards of Ice not actually connecting. Fire, Fire Giant, not sorry, just a fight going on. Just Pit using Rewind to get out of that alive. Statics has been forced to recall. He will be back in base. This will be a 4v5 going forward. Durzen, though, getting a kill, turning this around. 4v4, Panic getting a second kill. Now 4v3 in favor of the red team. Heavenly Agility has been popped. Mr. Funny Pants trying to do what he can with the crushing waves, has used beads. Looking for a kill onto Zerz, and the ultimate has been popped. Dude, looking for the kill, does find it onto Just Pit. So far, a two for one. Dodo did pick up the tower as he ran past, though, so overall in favor of the red team. No, well, overall, completely in favor of the red team so far. Dodo now looking for the kill onto Mr. Funny Pants. Earthbreaker only connecting onto a minion, not what he wanted. Dude, perhaps considering going after that kill on Panic, Statics has returned to the fight, however. Not wanting to get back in on that. That seemed a little on the quick side. What am I looking for? Is there a teleport around now? I guess uh, there was just enough time for Statics to run back to the fight. So coming out of that fight, the red team has found themselves a 2,300 gold lead. The 10,000 experience lead at this point, not really, once again, still not mattering a whole lot. Only a one level advantage as most everyone has reached level 20. Going back to the items, Dodo will be getting a bit of extra physical power out of the Runeforged Hammer passive, which will convert physical protection to physical power. No one else currently, as I glance down the item list, just to make sure, has completed their builds. 
So everyone but Dodo will continue getting stronger for a little bit going forward. Fire Giant might have been started, but now just clearing a ward. Giant a little angry about that, throwing a boulder. So perhaps looking for a, a, a pick onto Mr. Funny Pants. It will be a 1v2. Not really a situation he wants to go forward to, into. Though he is still hanging around to zone them out. For by the Fire Giant. Counter warning about to go on. Oh, uh... Codex with the shield wall actually winning that out. It's only going to be a regular ward, I believe, down in that pit right now. So both teams will have vision on the fire giant going forward. There is a sentry ward sitting in there. Is there? Blue team has a sentry ward. Red team though going for the fire giant now. It's already down to half health. The frost wall coming out will delay it. Zelpex looking for the searing pain steel, not finding it. Hog three does come down. Red team has secured the fire giant. First fire giant of the game, 38 minutes, 30 seconds in. Durzen running for his life in the background. This fight going on in the front line. Mr. Funny Pan getting picked off by Dodo. Bisho here also getting chased around as well. Durzen looks like he might escape back to his base. Celestial Beam in the back will not connect, just picking up Bisho in the foreground. A couple members of the blue team farming between towers. Podex will safely get out of here for the time being. Static's not. Uh, coming around to catch vision of that lazy back between the tower and the phoenix. So 39 minutes in, the red team it does have the fire giant belt. At this point, it's going to be, things are still fairly even, only a 1700 gold difference. So overall, both teams are pretty much dead even. That extra bit of power from the fire giant belt could potentially make all the difference going forward. The red team so far has been coming out ahead in team fights. So with that extra from the Fire Giant, they will have the advantage. Those little fish balls just don't look out of place. Duke possibly getting caught. Not going to find a frost, frost Breath. Stealth from Loki doing what it's supposed to, getting him out safely. Over in the left lane now. Looks like the red team has begun their siege. Dodo going for a tank in the tower, looking for something. Driving Strike does connect. The Darkness coming out. Zelpex not able to get out successfully. The Frost Wall just delaying him enough to keep him in place. Duke jumping forward, looking for the kill on the statics. Will not find it before getting burst down as well. It will now be a 3v5 defense at this left side Phoenix. The middle tower has dropped. See if these three members of the blue team are able to do anything. Blink forward from Panic, finding the Frost Breath on the beast. A nice knock up from Hapwa. Will it be enough? The Shards of Ice is out. Dodo does get dropped by Mr. Funny Pan. He is now caught out in the middle of a 4 v or V3. Double kill coming out from Durz and Podex, the only one left standing. There is the DSI being picked up by just Pit. And with 25 seconds on the respawn clock for Ra, and this will more likely than not be the game right here. Titan is down to half health. That's going to be the game, ladies and gentlemen. 40 minutes, 55 seconds in. Red team has secured the victory ever so shortly on the back of that fire giant fight. The blue team just not really able to capitalize on anything, possibly right at the end. Also a DC by Zelpex, possibly on the at the very end of the game, perhaps, or I, that uh, would I assume have happened after the fight. Either way, he was moving around until that frost wall came up, which when he died anyway, likely would not have made much of a difference. So the blue team just having a lot of burst damage, but once that burst was used up, not really much in the way of follow up. They just whereas the red team. Between Kali, Hercules, Kronos, and even Agni doing a bit more damage over time as his passive keeps ticking. Able to withstand the burst and turn those fights around over and over. Overall, great game played by both teams. Great game to cast. Comments and criticisms are definitely welcome and appreciated. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.